right in the heart of Siberia, there is a town called Yakutsk. You probably know Yakutsk from the board game Risk. It is also the coldest city in the world and it reaches minus 17 degrees Celsius, which is about the same temperature as Mars. It's extremely dangerous to live here. You can easily get frostbite. It's very hard to go outside in winter. So you have to leave your car on all throughout winter just so it doesn't freeze. Yakutsk has a population of 300,000 and is growing every year. But how do people survive in this harsh environment? Why do people live here? And what is it like living here? So I'm going to interview Kyune, who is actually from the coldest city in the world. And she has made a video on YouTube which has gone viral with 5 million people in two weeks. Lots of you have been asking many questions about it. I'm going to be asking Kyune more questions about what it's like living in the coldest city in the world. But first, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more interesting interviews and covering some other fascinating stories. And also follow for our upcoming trip going to the coldest city in the world. Hi guys, I'm Rich and I'm from UK and today I'm going to be asking Kine some questions to learn more about the coldest city in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what is it today? I don't know, minus five. So it's pretty warm. Yeah, it's very warm. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm here with Kine from uh, Sahara Republic and we're just chilling out here on the bench. Can you tell me about the coldest city in the world? <laughs> So basically, I grew up in the coldest place on Earth called Yakutia and the average temperature during the winter is minus 50 degrees Celsius but uh, the lowest recorded temperature is minus 71. Yeah, we live in this winter and it's pretty normal for us. Why do people live there? Because it's a beautiful place. What are you talking about? It's my hometown. But, I love my hometown. But wouldn't you just want to move somewhere warmer? No. <laughs> You just need to get used to. I think it's really amazing that the human can adapt any environment. How do you cope with the cold in the winter? I think the most crucial part, you have to know what to wear. We are wearing the few coats, we are wearing the few hats, also covering our face like this, so you can see on the eyes, and also wearing the mittens. And also we have our traditional boot. It's also made by a ranger fur. So it's really warm if you cover yourself with the fur. So it's fur is not something like luxury maybe in Yokutia. It's, it's something the people wear because to keep themselves warm. How much does it cost the fur? Uh, it's quite expensive. The uh, coat it's usually cost around 30,000 RMB. Yeah, about 5,000 US dollars. Yeah, and the hat from 1,000 RMB to 3,000 RMB. Can everyone afford uh, to pay uh, for that? No, if the people can't afford it, they can uh, wear some other clothes. When I was a kid, I always wear a lot of fur, like really big fur hat and a really big fur coat. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about in the winter? You can go outside for as long as you want with the fur coat or how does no, that work? No, 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 no. Our winter lasts seven months. So you have to adapt this winter, right? And the people are still going to the school even during the minus 50 degrees Celsius and people working. But if you want to go outside, you have to go only maybe for around 20 minutes maximum at a time. Otherwise, you will be frostbitten and you can feel how your skin is burning. So it's really dangerous. How do you protect against frostbite? You just need to protect all of your skin with the clothes. And if you will be frostbitten, we are usually using the bare fat. It's like oil. If you frostbit your nose is frostbitten, you can help, like, use this. It works well, really well. Uh, yeah. It's not only for the frostbite, but your skin is burned, you can also use it. Have you ever been frostbitten? Yeah, of course, many times. How? But it was uh, like there are three stages of mm -hmm. the frostbitten. The first stage is pretty normal. Uh, it's my, my nose usually can be frostbitten, but it's only the first stage. If you will be frostbitten like the, th three, the third stage, people are losing their fingers, so they are cutting their fingers. It's really dangerous. So, are there many people that have uh, cut fingers in Nikita? Not many, because you could say people know how to protect themselves, right? Is it dangerous when you're in Yakutia? Yes, yeah, so for example, uh, Yakutia is really, really large and my best friend, she's living 24 hours from my hometown. 
so if you will drive for a really long time it's really dangerous the battery can be uh, frozen and uh, we had many many unfortunately cases when the people die because uh, the cold freeze the battery and the people freeze to death uh, so it must be really dangerous to drive in the winter it's really really dangerous yeah. usually the people driving like a few cars together because it's too dangerous yeah yeah Cool, thank you. So, uh, Brave here, smash the like button and subscribe. We're going to be giving more cool interviews and we're actually arranging a trip to go to Yakutia. So check it out and we're going to be recording that trip and leave us some questions we'll ask in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye bye.